Hi, it's Miss Cross, and today we're going to talk about uh, two philosophers that really go against enlightenment, core values of human beings and society being rational, and they think human beings are more driven by instincts and desires, not logic. Those two philosophers are Nietzsche and Dostoevsky. Uh, we're going to talk about Dostoevsky first. Um, he's a Russian philosopher and a prolific writer, um, but not very successful in his lifetime. And he had a lot of trouble in his life. He was almost executed. He was sent to a labor camp and lived with a lot of turmoil, which may have influenced his ideas. So think about what you believe. Do you believe that every event has a cause? And does every cause have an event? Essentially, do you believe you have free will? Or has everything in your life been determined? Is it just a series and a chain reaction of events that are linking together? You know, based on your brain chemistry, based on uh, just a series of events happening. The question is, do you believe in determinism or free will? Like, do you think human beings have free will? Dostoevsky says, yes, we do. So determinism is the idea that we don't have free will. It's basically that every decision that we make has already been determined in an unbroken chain of prior occurrences. Basically, it maintains that um, exactly one possible future exists or one choice exists. Uh, it's the idea that human beings make logical and rational choices and that you make choices that will help you survive um, or flourish. Um, and Dostoevsky says that's not true, is that a lot of times we have an action that's without a cause. So, like, do we ever do something that is illogical? or instinctual, or impulsive. And Dostoevsky would say that we do that a lot. So are there any uncaused events? So people that believe in free will, like Dostoevsky, argue that um, people can create a new chain of causation. Like you could do something new. You could go out into the wild. You could um, do something different. Um, most people... And here's a cartoon um, that I think really exemplifies the, what Dostoevsky was talking about, is a lot of people think that free will is an illusion. A lot of us will get a job, go to work, get married, have children, follow fa fashion, try and act normal, um, save for retirement, and then repeat, I am free. So Dostoevsky says that some people will go against those ideals um, and that proves that we are free, because we could. So Dostoevsky is, like I said, a famous Russian novelist. Uh, he wrote Crime and Punishment, um, and that's one of his famous books. He also wrote The Brothers Cosmonoff, uh, which is another really great book. And basically, he shows that people... Uh, make decisions based on impulses, desire, violence, and they're not rational. That's his main characters. Uh, he says that people are not fundamentally rational, that we are guided by impulses or instincts. So sometimes he says, we just want to smash things. Like, do you sometimes just want to smash things? Um, I think teenagers are a little bit famous for smashing things like sometimes you just get emotional and you just do things that you know I've seen teenagers at school like throw their phone their beloved phone but they just do it anyway because sometimes you just make decisions that are impulsive and he says we're subject to unpredictable wills sometimes we just feel something and we need to react to it um, he says that one of the most important um, ideas is that we have the freedom to choose. Free will doesn't have to be rational. Free will is just something because you could. Um, so just think about it. Have you ever done something because someone told you not to do it? Have you ever done something because you just could do it? You probably shouldn't do it, but you could do it, so you did do it. 
Uh, that's not necessarily rational or logical. Um, teenagers, like I remember one moment in my teenage years where I really wanted to go to this concert. And I remember my mom saying to me, like, if you say one more word, you can't go to that concert. And I just had this undeniable urge to just say one more word. And then I wasn't allowed to go to that concert, which I wanted to go to so bad, but I just couldn't stop talking. I couldn't stop saying just one more word. I just had to like prove that I could, uh, even though it was against the thing that I really wanted to happen. So uh, Dostoevsky uses these proofs to show that human beings are not rational, but we're impulsive. And we have these instincts, these irrepressible urges to uh, just prove we're alive, smash things. That's what Dostoevsky says. Uh, Friedrich Nietzsche also believes in free will. Um, and he has a similar life to Dostoevsky in that he has a lot of heartache. He has a mental breakdown. He lives the last part of his life in a mental institution. He has no success in life and love. Um, and his books, no one reads them, no one buys them. He's like a huge failure. And he dies a failure. And his ideas are, you know, laughed at. Uh, and he's not read at all. Um, and then after World War I, people start reading his books. Um, before World War I, uh, the majority of people believed in the ideas of the Enlightenment, that we were rational, that we were progressing, that te technology could make our society better. And then after World War I, a lot of people started to question those ideas. They saw war and thought maybe human beings are not rational, that we are instinctual, we're impulsive, we're violent, we're not rational. And um, these ideas... Um, are a lot of the ideas that Nietzsche was talking about. And so these ideas become embraced after World War I. So existentialism is uh, the belief that Nietzsche had as well. And um, he said that people create meanings in their lives uh, not from God, but from their actions. He says that individuals um, act upon their own free choice. He said to prove that you exist is to be. Your existence is only your choices, your actions. Man defines his reality by his or her actions, nothing else. So basically to do is to be. You're only defined by your actions and so you shouldn't be necessarily responsible for them. He says that people make decisions based on what has meaning to them rather than what is rational. So it's the idea that you make decisions based on your emotions, not because you thought about it logically. And this is true for many of us. Um, a lot of times we make decisions based on our emotions or in how we feel that rather than if it's logical or not. Existentialism um, from Nietzsche, basically, he has this idea that um, a lot of times with Christianity, um, our morality stops our instincts, our drive and will. Um, he says that we should, we should live by I will instead of thou shall not. Uh, he has a lot of problems with Christianity because he says that... Um, it suppresses our urges, uh, that we should be envious of people because then we would aspire to be like them, uh, that a lot of Christian morals go against us being like the Superman, uh, that basically just living on our instincts and our will and, you know, letting nothing stop us, like morality. Uh, a lot of people would disagree with this, that it's wrong, um, and Nietzsche says that it doesn't matter if it's wrong, uh, but your actions define you, uh, even if they're immoral. So he, like I said before, thought that ideas of Western society, like Christianity, were life-denying, that human beings should just uh, live according to their instincts 
and there was no universal truth and that you should just aspire to be, you know, that Superman that he was talking about that um, he said that what doesn't kill us makes us stronger, which is also what Kanye West said. Um, and he said that a lot of that self overcoming uh, is what makes us who we are. Um, so a lot of times those bad times will help make us stronger and that we shouldn't let morals get in the way. And you could see why a lot of people would have a problem with the ideas of Nietzsche and Dostoevsky because they go against Christian values. They go against Western values. Uh, they say that we're instinctual and we're driven by desire. Dostoevsky says we're driven by the desire to prove that we are free. Uh, Nietzsche says that we have to set our own moral scenario uh, and our actions are what defines us and it doesn't matter if they're wrong or right. Um, and it allows for free will. He says there's no such thing as good or bad. So both men believe in the irrational. They both are existentialists and they both rejected uh, reason um, defining human beings. And they both were controversial. So basically their ideas um, really come to the forefront during the Age of Uncertainty, which is essentially during World War I and after. And it's very popular because people were basically feeling the aftershocks of this world war where it left people feeling very uncertain, like uncertain about progress. Like, are we really progressing? Is technology a good thing or a bad thing? We used it to just kill more people. Are human beings good and logical when we just fought this war? Um, and surviving the war and having the same idea of progress and positivity associated with human beings uh, changes after World War I. So the ideas of Dostoevsky and Nietzsche are embraced and explored more um, after World War I and beyond because there's a lot of ideas that we could point to that show that human beings aren't rational, that we're instinctual and we're emotional. And also, like, what is the point? Why do you make decisions? Uh, this idea of existentialism. Uh, is there a purpose of life that is beyond your actions? So think about these ideas. Uh, Nietzsche and Dostoevsky are controversial, but also it's hard to deny the proof that a lot of times human beings act irrationally. We do things that are bad for us. We make decisions like, I have the impulse to eat a whole bag of Oreos. That's an unhealthy impulse, but I just might do it to prove that I'm alive. Think about these ideas. Think about if you made... Uh, some rational decisions today or some irrational decisions today and uh, reflect on that. You're going to be talking about Sigmund Freud tomorrow, who is another person that believes in the idea um, that human beings are irrational and instinctual. Thanks for listening, and I hope you have a great day e-learning. Till next time.